Hi guys and welcome to this bootstrap build with brackets video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In the last video we set up our site or did the basic setup for our site. We're just going to continue on with that today. We briefly went over what this is here. Let's just quickly set this up. Uh, viewport, as you know, that what's, that's what makes this site responsive and fit to whatever screen it's being viewed on. Uh, we want a meta name description and this is where you put your content there we'll just put something in there I'm going to be using something called lorem ipsum which is dummy text that you can use to fill out websites so designers can see what things will look like with dummy text I'll put the link to this below this video and let's just see what a meta description is because it's recently dis it's recently changed um, so if you just Google website meta description length, it used to be 160. Here it's saying it's between 160 and 320. And this is what actually a meta description is. This little snippet here. Here will be your site name and underneath will be your meta description. And looking down here. Yeah, Google officially increases the length of snippets and meta descriptions and search results so you can have up to 230 160 was about what we always used to do so let's go back to our site and in between the two inverted commas here I'm going to call this site styles and make it a kind of restaurant-y kind of site obviously you can have yours as whatever you want it to be and I'm just going to copy in some Lorem, Ip Lorem Ipsum here. And I'm just going to guess maybe too short, maybe too long, but you can put up to 200 and whatever it said there. What did they say? 230 characters. 160 is plenty, but if you want to, you can put 230 and it'll end up in your Google description there. So just want to paste that in there. There's the description taken care of. Uh, the icon, which is the favicon, if we jump back to the, the site here again, this is a favicon. I quickly created one in Photoshop and I've made it 19 by 19 pixels. And I want to save it as a PNG so there's no little white bits in the corners. I'll shave I'll save it as a JPEG as well to show you why. So let's go to our website folder. So here's our project folder with our site in it. Here's our index.html file that we've got up in our brackets here. That's that one. And last time we created this CSS folder and inside we put our custom CSS file this is where we're going to be adding our custom CSS to style our site. And if we create a new folder now for somewhere to store our images, I'm going to call mine IMG. You can call yours what you want, but IMG or images is pretty standard for this sort of project. And this is where I want to save any images that we're going to use in our website here. So first off, I'm going to save this as a PNG. Uh, portable network graphic so it means those little white bits will be transparent and as I say it was 19 by 19 I'm saving it as a PNG and we're already at our image folder that's nice if you hand the bin you just need to go to your site folder and navigate into your image folder there and that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it fav you can call it what you want but that's pretty common now just so I can show you I'm gonna save it as a JPEG as well which means it will have those white corners so this time I'm gonna select it as a JPEG if you don't have Photoshop I know it's quite an expensive program I do use it all the time there is a free alternative called GIMP uh, G I M P that you can do pretty much exactly the same things with so we'll save this as a JPEG this time. And again, we'll call it fab. It's already got that there for us. OK, 
Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now, now if we look in our image folder here, we've got those two favicons. That one's the JPEG. That one's the PNG, the Portable Network Graphic. Okay, so why am I saving both, you might ask yourself. Well, let's put our favicon in here. Here we are, here's the icon. This is where we want to insert the link to our favicon. So it's in our image folder, so I've got to do IMG. And if I just click on that, or put a forward slash, here's our two favicons we just created. I'm going to put the PNG in and show you what it looks like. Now if we save, Control S to save our changes here. Go back to our site and let's open the site and we should have a little favicon up there now. There we go, there's our little favicon. And uh, that's with the ping. Now if I highlight this other one, you'll see that one's gone gray and our little favicon's still there. Now if we use the JPEG, let's put a JPEG in there this time. Go back to our bracket software. And this time, just delete this. Hit a forward slash. And let's put the JPEG in this time, which is not transparent, so it's just that little square thing. Save it, Control S. Go back to our site and refresh doesn't look any different because that's white at the moment now if we select highlight our other one I don't know if you can notice there but it's got little white corners on it and we don't really want that so let's go ahead you know that's why we use a transparent so let's go ahead and put it back to our ping And here's the title, which will appear in our uh, Google search. Our title will appear up here with our snippet underneath. So it's called Styles. And I'll hit a pipe. Pipe is is a a, a vertical line, and it's usually located just above the Enter key on your keyboard there. It's not used a lot, so some people don't know where it is. So that'll, that'll appear in our tab up there. So there we are. We've got it pretty much sorted out what we needed to put up here. Now let's... We did our custom CSS. This is our link that pulls in our custom CSS to our new file here. So we're all, all set up and ready to go, I should think. So that'll do it for the, this quick video. What we're going to do next is create a slider for our website to go underneath here. And this is the navigation bar. We're going to deal with this last thing. When we put the other sections in, we'll start customizing this when we know what we've got down below. Uh, usually I'd have a site structure mapped out, but we're kind of building on the fly here as we go. So there's the nav bar. We'll deal with that at the end. We're going to put a, a slider in right here in the next video. And it's really easy. You'd be really surprised how easy it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web design, then take one of our courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And there's also some great free courses down there. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.